or good morning from Las Vegas. It's gonna be a good day. My friend Mark's in town from Arizona. Uh, he's from Hawaii. I met him in Hawaii actually, but we're really good friends. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get a good workout in and we're gonna go to one of the most beautiful places in Las Vegas where I always go and work out. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Mountain Vibrams, check. Gloves, gym bag, check. Oh yeah, my water. <laughs> All right, in the car, I'm gonna go meet Mark at Red Rock Hotel. It's like five minutes from my apartment. And uh, this amazing, magical place is like five minutes from Red Rock Hotel. I'm, I'm so lucky, I live so close to it. That's why I go like almost every day or when I have the free time. It's amazing. So there's like this sacred tree and like you just know it. it's a special tree like I'll show you you guys will see it and you'll be like yeah that's a special tree and I love going there I love the energy there it's like you know you can see like um, artwork on the rocks that from the Indians that used to live there like thousands of years ago so it's like a really a special place and uh, I love going there and just soaking up nature and you know doing my workouts there to me it's way better than going to a gym so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it I live basically on Sahara and Durango and yeah all I gotta do is go straight down to Char take a left on Charleston and it's a straight shot to Red Rock and to Red Rock National Park so like that's how lucky I am to live so close to like the most one of the most beautiful places in the United States and you'll, you'll see and this is just like a normal day for me in Vegas like most people vlogging in Vegas probably gonna be on the strip showing the casino the hotels the casinos all that shit but for me I have like no interest in gambling or alcohol or drugs or any of that so like yeah I'm never you'll never catch me down there sometimes occasionally if I gotta meet so someone from like Japan or something like that I'll be out there but Usually, I'm always at Red Rock or Mount Charleston in nature, and yeah, I'll, I'll start posting more in Vegas. Usually, I'm just posting when, I, when I'm in Colombia, but um, yeah, so this is just like a normal day in Vegas for me, and not on the strip. Right here, left on Charleston, and then it's a straight shot. I don't know if you can see it in the distance, but yeah, you can already see the red rocks. Hey, Mark, did you find yeah. the um? Did you find the blue ribbon sushi? Yeah, I see him. I'm right here. You you saw your park like in front of that place? Yeah, like uh, if you go into that entrance, I'll be on the right side. Yeah. All right. I'll be there in a few minutes. I'll see you there. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm gonna make a left right here. If you go straight, then you're going straight to Red Rock National Park, but I gotta make a left at Red Rock Hotel to meet Mark. This is one of like the nicest hotels off the strip. Like, I love this hotel. It's so nice. The swimming pool is huge and nice and everything's new. The rooms are nice. Really, really nice hotel. But yeah, I don't gamble. But... Nice casino too. Oh, I found Mark. And his two beautiful dogs. Hey. Mark. <laughs> oh my god, what's their names again? Uh, uh, Nova and then Sky. This is Nova? Nova and then Sky. Sky. Oh my god, these dogs are amazing. <laughs> what's up, brother? Brother Ed, how you doing? Pretty good. Good I love see. this guy, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> nah, we go way back. Like, <laughs> way back. Like almost what? Seven years now? Seven years. Seven yes, years. Sir. <laughs> we met at UFC gym in Hawaii. You asked me to just train with me, right? Yeah. And then we started doing <laughs> leg locks every day, like a thousand times. We were in the gym like five hours every day, just training leg locks. And uh, yeah, we became brothers. But, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go. What? You got me like out of crap. Oh, yeah. Out of crap. Yeah, we were training. We were training so much leg locks. He would like his legs would cramp up and stuff. I, yeah, 
it's all coming back to me now but yeah we became brothers the brotherhood of training you know and uh yeah just a, gr a great story and we're in las vegas now we're gonna go to one of my favorite places to train it's the casino all right mark's following me now we're gonna go to red rock or this uh sacred i call it the sacred tree so yeah right look at that that view never gets old See, the desert ain't so bad. To get to this place, you gotta take the first right. The first right. I don't even know if there's a sign. It used to say, there used to be a sign saying Red Springs, but anyway, it's the first right. And it says Calico Basin. There's that sign. Look for that sign. Take the first right. And then, there, like, this place is so huge. There's so many different trails and places to go. So I'll do my best to. <laughs> Trying to navigate if you guys ever want to come to this sacred tree but there's like this hill coming up that i run sometimes it's a really really good hill right there you can see that path going up it's like a little hill i do like some sprints up there really really good exercise and then there's like a trail that goes all the way up to this place called simba's cliff that i like to go up to and look, there's people that actually have houses and live here with horses. Like, wow, I'm so jealous. <laughs> but yeah, I love coming here too because you see them like take out their horses sometimes. And yeah, it's, it's really nice. So just driving all the way down straight, you're going to come to this parking lot, which is um, the meadow. There's like a nice meadow and a boardwalk. And uh, that's where you can see the artwork from the Indians and there's like a little spring, little creek. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a, that's a nice spot I like to go to. But you take a right and then you have to make another left and just follow this road. And you see like, oh my God, they're building some beautiful houses up there. There's horses. Oh, there's the horses today. And see the horses too. But yeah, now you guys know why this is like my favorite place and why I don't like going on the strip. Like, oh my god, the strip has nothing but gambling, alcohol, drugs, prostitutes. I mean, if you're going through a spiritual journey, like, that's not the place to be. <laughs> this is the place to be if you're going through a spiritual journey. Or, you know, a never-ending, an endless spiritual journey, you know, like, avoid the strip at all costs. I mean, yeah, go there once in a while, you know, if you gotta meet some friends, but, yeah, it shouldn't be like an everyday thing, you're going on the strip and drinking, fucking getting drunk, you know. Look at these houses. Look at that, that is just beautiful. Look at these houses, oh my god. Look at that, look at the size of that lot. Oh my god. Yeah, I think like these guys right here have like the nicest houses in Las Vegas. Like, oh my god. Look at look look at their backyard. I mean come on, that's their backyard. Look at this guy, brand new house. Oh my god. Amazing. Motivation. Motivation. Make that money. <laughs> and here's the parking lot. Oh, there's a lot of people today. Usually when I come here, it's like nobody. But today, I guess everyone's rock climbing or hiking. Cool. All right, we arrived. Look at this magical place. There's rabbits, turtles, all kind of wildlife, hawks, desert, like real desert sand. I'll show you guys. Yeah, we're gonna go train. I usually run up. I do this uh, Apache warrior training with water in my mouth. I run up all the way. And I gotta spit out, or I can't swallow or spit out the water until I get to the top. I should make a vlog doing that. <laughs> but then I can't talk. It's just gonna be me running with water in my mouth. But yeah, beautiful place. The sacred tree is like in there. So there's like this nice path to walk and uh, yeah. 
start the training. These dogs are so cool. They're so mellow and so chill. Nova, oh, you're limping. Oh my God, poor girl. It's okay. You're gonna have fun. This shade. Fun. Bro, she's strong even though she's limping. Oh, poor girl. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. The 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 sacred tree where we're gonna go. It's not it's not far at all. How often do you come here? Like every day. I even climbed this mountain right here with no shoes. <laughs> I climbed to the top. No rope, no chalk, no shoes. I should make a vlog doing it. You should do that bro. Put it on your forehead. Yeah. And it. So yeah, another reason why I love coming here is because I can ground, take off my shoes. Look at this, real desert sand. Yeah. I mean, you gotta watch out, you get poked by like some cactus, but it's not bad. It's probably good for your feet, you know? And you toughen up your feet. This is the closest thing to the beach in not Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> no water though. <laughs> no, but you got some nice ass desert sand. <laughs> it's, it's a desert sand, yeah, bro. Bro, this is why we, we used to crawl in, in freaking Texas, bro. Oh yeah? Yeah, <laughs> while well, we trained, they make us crawl in. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. I'm so happy you're out of the army. I know. Like, are, are they sending like them to Israel right yeah, now? Yeah, so, some of them. Oh my god. Yeah, thank but God you you're know out. What? The, um, the guard is more chill. Yeah. Relax. But yeah, I'm happy you're out of that, man. <laughs> I'm out of the active duty. I'm like, damn, man. <laughs> Fucking recruiter. They don't tell you. Sit in it, Sky. Yay! Dogs are the best, right? Oh my god. If you don't like dogs, like, oh, you're not from this planet. Look at that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. She said it. <laughs> so I love coming here too because, like, there's always some. We're new to explore. There's so many different paths and trails. Like you can go all the way up there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go up there. You can go all like it just like endless amounts of trails. So yeah, that's why I love coming out here. Oh look, more water. More water. More water, Sky. Come on, Sky. <laughs> yeah, all the times I've been here, I've only seen uh, a, giant, a tortoise three times and it's like such a special time like a special moment when you see them because they just look magical in this amazing place and they're wild tortoises they just live out here Let's see if we can find one today or if one comes to us and there is the sacred tree right there magical tree magical tree Right now, I just have Mark going through some footwork drills, changing angles. It's like throwing your opponent off, you know, like getting out of the way of things, getting out of the way, the range of his punches and confusing him, you know, so he doesn't know exactly where you are. It's like he's fighting three different people.
Oh, slip, slip. this is how to use nature to your advantage find some good rocks good training partner find a beautiful spot like this look at this magical tree this beautiful place and get a good workout in you don't need to be on your phone you don't need to be watching fucking netflix or being on the strip feeding the fucking machines money come out into nature Take your shoes off, connect with earth, and just feel good. You feel good, right, Mark? Coming out here. <laughs> right? The dogs are feeling good. They're oh, fucking yeah. loving life right now. So yeah. Get off the couch. Start moving. Start moving your body. If you're feeling depressed, you're feeling anxiety, fuck, it's because you're sitting down too much. Get out of the house. Hit the sun. Get make sure that sunlight is touching you. Or, you know, don't look into it, but fucking feel it, you know, feel the sunlight, you know, it's so important. Get off the couch, start moving. Here's Mark. Tarzan in the tree over there. Yeah, we're in nature. Hey, Sky. Come here, Sky. Come here. That's my version of clean and press, but in nature with a heavy ass stone. Oh my God. As you can see, I'm breathing hard. Amazing workout. And I'm doing it without shoes, barefoot. Connect, absorbing all the energy from earth. You 
can feel it shake the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making food, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's like slamming a medicine ball to on down too. That's actually good. <laughs> I never thought of that. You get that part of the workout. So, oh. Yeah. You gotta start doing that. Fucking Hercules. <sighs> Power bomb. All right. That was how I do it in nature. And now for the final part of training, we're training our feet. <laughs> this is that ancient Chinese secret right there. <laughs> How's today's training, Mark? This is the worst. <laughs> That's the, this is the worst part. Walking back to the car on gravel. But man, that, like people gotta take off their shoes, you know? Like fucking toughen up their feet. Everyone's feet is just binded. Their toes are binded together, they're just like compressed. That's why everyone has like plantar fasciitis. Cause like, fuck, those shoes are not designed for our feet. That's why I wear these for the last like 15 years. They should sponsor me for all the people I've sent to them Nova. and bought Vibrams. But yeah, take care of our feet. Here, take deeper breaths. Fill up your lungs with air. Eat more healthy. Drink more water. Get off the couch more. Hey, Put down your phone down. more. Get out in nature more. Let's be more healthy. We, this world needs more healthy people, more healthy men, stronger men. Let's do it. Thanks for supporting the channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was inspirational. I'll see you guys on the next one.